In this video, I will explain the difference between user acquisition and traffic acquisition reports. The user acquisition reports show the first traffic source that acquired the user. This is my demo property, it doesn't have a lot of data, so let's go to the official GE4 demo property. And here I am in the user acquisition reports. So as you can see, all dimensions here start with the word first user, first user medium, first user source, and so on. Even if the visitor visits your site for five times, all those five sessions will be attributed to the first channel that acquired the visitor. Let me explain it visually. So we have the organic search. That's the first traffic source from which the visitor landed on your website. Then after one day, that very same visitor landed on your site from some paid ad in the Google search. Then after three days, the visitor Googled your business and then found your website and landed again on it. And then eventually after one more day, the visitor comes back to your website from the email marketing campaign. Because let's say that the visitor subscribed to your newsletter somewhere right here. So when the visitor comes to your site from the email, on that session, he or she converts. If we are looking at the user acquisition report and the dimension that we look at is first user default channel group, all these four sessions will be attributed to the organic search because that's the first channel that acquired the user. Hence, there is first user in the dimension name. And if we look at numbers, then organic search will have four sessions and one conversion. Now, traffic acquisition reports care about traffic sources of each individual session. Therefore, all dimensions start with the word session. We have session source medium and so on. If we look at the traffic acquisition report by having the same example in mind, then in that report, we will see that organic search got two sessions because this session came from organic search and this one, then paid search will have one session and then email will have one session and that conversion is attributed to the last known traffic source. So what we have here with session default channel group is called last click attribution because last click or the last traffic source gets the conversion attributed to it. And that's about it. Hopefully you now have a better understanding of the difference between these two reports. If you found this video useful, hit the like button below the video. That will help me understand what videos do you like and what should I create in the future. Also, if you want to learn more about Google Tag Manager or GA4, then subscribe to this channel. My name is Julius, this is Analytics Mania, and I'll see you in the next video.